everyone welcome to another video by CC's Creations. Uh, today I just want to share with you something that I've been doing that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I wasn't really feeling the creative flow today so uh, when that happens I always try to do some organizational tasks that I have lying around and this one I've been wanting to do for a long long time. Um, it's how to do your own shimmer mist with either Perfect Pearls or Pearl X. Pearl X used to be sold by Stampin' Up! years and years ago. I know it's still sold in art supply stores and craft stores around. Um, and it's made by Jacquard, which I think is a French company uh, out in Europe. But uh, they're still around and I had a ton of them. And I really wanted to do something with them. I've seen, I went on the web and I've seen a few videos showing you how to do your your own shimmer mist with the perfect pearls but most of them um, the, the recipe included gum arabic which is this here but in powder form and I couldn't find it in power form in my area so all I had was the liquid form so I had to come up with my own recipe for it so I'm going to talk about that later on but first let me um, let me talk about the shimmer mist, what we call shimmer mist. I think the trend uh, kind of started by, by uh, Stampin' Up! demonstrators out there. When we first introduced the shimmer paints um, a few catalogs ago, um, we learned how to mix the shimmer paint with rubbing alcohol and you would give it, it would give you this spray or the shimmer mist that you could spray on cardstock or paper and it gives it a very nice um, shimmery finish. So this one I made, I made big bottles of those because I use them often. This one is made with the frost white shimmer paint and this one is made with the um, the champagne uh, mist, uh, shimmer paint, I'm sorry. So these are my two mainstay but um, I also have started using recently because I went, I was fortunate enough to be in one of Jennifer McGuire's class here in Montreal when she came uh, last November and she uses a different solution. Now these are made with Ranger's Perfect Pearls and this one, this color is actually called the Perfect Pearl. So this is their white-ish color, kind of like the frost white shimmer paint that we have by Stampin' Up! Um, the viscosity is a little bit thicker with this because it's mixed with water. Um, the Perfect Pearls have a binding agent built into them. So you can just mix it with water and it gives you that nice shimmer mist. And let me just show you what the Perfect Pearls look like. Actually, it comes in little tubs like these. They have different colors. And this is what the powder looks like. So all you do is you find the right amount of, actually the consistency you want, the more uh, powder you put, obviously the more shimmer you're going to have. The trick is not to clog up your nozzle. So if you, I am assuming if you put too, too much powder, eventually your nozzle will clog up. So um, I can't remember how much I put in this big container, but I'm pretty sure I put probably about an eighth of an inch at the bottom of the pearl and then filled it up with water and I've been using this for a while. I love it. So these are my three favorite ones, these three. Now I bought a whole bunch of Perfect Pearls in different colors. I have eight in total including the Perfect Pearl color. So these are all my little ones. I, I wanted to have them all ready so that when I feel like misting I wouldn't have to mix my solution and I could just grab the color I wanted and I identified them with um, if you can see that I identified them with my um, oh which I call it my P-Touch machine so each color is identified on the side here so these are my perfect pearl uh, mixes now to go back to the Pearl X um, like I said, I went on YouTube and I saw that most recipes that are out there uses the powdery gum arabic. So I'm going to give you the recipe for people who have the liquid gum arabic for it. So in a mini mister like this, for this size, 
I forget which quantity. I think this is a two ounce, maybe not, maybe 1.5 ounce mister uh, bottle. So what I did is I took the tip of a plastic spoon like this and I filled it up three times. So whatever quantity I was able to get in about this much space. Sometimes it's, you know, you, you get a little mountain and you just dip it in your, uh, you, you just dunk it into your mini mister. Then I took this eyedropper and what I did is I went into the gum Arabic bottle and filled up about this much. So I would say about three quarter way of this eyedropper. Added that into my mister and then filled it up with water up until maybe a quarter of an inch from the top so that I would have room to mix it. And these, as you can see, the the shimmer is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I actually quite like it much better than my Perfect Pearls, honestly. Um, the colors are much more vibrant. I don't know if it has anything to do with the fact that you know you mix it with gum arabic and the binding agent is a little bit more uh, stronger. I, I want to say stronger for lack of a better word but I really really like this. So and here just to show you what the perfect pearls look like they come in little jars like this. They're a little bit bigger than Pearl X and the powder looks just the same. So, and uh, after I've done, after I finished doing that, I made myself a little sample because I always like to refer to, you know, sometimes you haven't done this in a while and wait, you want to use your, your mister, but you can't really tell the difference between these two or the, uh, you know, or these two. So it's nice to have a reference tool. So I made myself with, I took that little um, small tag punch by Stampin' Up and uh, some watercolor paper and I misted them and in the back they're identified. So the, I'm going to try and zoom in so you can see the colors. Okay, see how it, I love how it shimmers. You see how it shimmers? Now these, the ones I'm going to show you at first are the Perfect Pearls. So this one is ah, uh, no, sorry, this one's the Pearl X. I should have known. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> ah, okay, these are the perfect pearl. <laughs> so this one is the mint. It's got a, like a gr um, a very light green. This is mandarin, kind of like an orangey color. And like you can see, the um, it's the the colors are not as vibrant. I'm going to try and add more powder to my mix and see if it's going to make a difference. This is cappuccino. It's actually nicer than it looks right now. I just I goofed on, on this one. Uh, this one's gold. It just adds a nice shimmer. Like imagine stamping or even changing the color of a flower but basically you can you can also stamp an image and then just shoot that over it, it would look fantastic. Like, you know, I'm thinking of a silhouette stamp, maybe stamped in black, and then you just spray that on over top. It would be amazing. So these are the uh, perfect pearl. Now, look at these. These are the pearl X. Unbelievable. This one is actually the duo red blue one. If you can see when I tilt it, it goes from red to blue, kind of like a blue tint. It's absolutely gorgeous. This one, oh, this one's one of my favorite. Oops! <laughs> I forgot to take off the uh, the post-it note that I used to uh, push it into my uh, my punch. This one I think is the true blue. Yeah, this one is a true blue. Look how gorgeous. Oh. This one is the Misty Lavender and I, there, there's a ton of color by Pearl X, but these are just the colors I have. I have 12 in all. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is called Super Russet. Yeah, Super Russet. This one, look how gorgeous. This one is the spring green one. Absolutely amazing. Uh, this one is copper. They call it the, I think, yeah, they call it Super Copper. Super Copper. And this one is Aztec Gold. Gorgeous, gorgeous colors. 
This one I think is the uh, blue green. Yeah, this one is the dual blue green. So you can see it goes from blue to green back to blue. Gorgeous. Uh, this one I I didn't mist well enough, but this is the flamingo pink. Now the last three that I want to show you, these are absolutely amazing. These are the interference. Interference is something that is the mixture is kind of whitish so if you spray it on white it's not going to be as vibrant but if you spray it on dark cardstock I mean, look at this how gorgeous is that this one is the violet uh, inter yeah interference violet gorgeous this one is the micro pearl and this one is the interference gold. Oh, yummy. Anyways, so this is what I did today. And um, I hope you get to play with your own stash of pearl eggs if you have them. Sorry about that. Or uh, even perfect pearls. They're a lot of fun. And now I feel like I have a whole bunch of new toys to play with. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave me a comment and uh, subscribe to my YouTube. And um, I'll catch you next time. Bye, guys.